One of the questions that I get from clients when I power wash the driveway, I get all the oil stains off. One of the questions they ask me is, how are we going to keep this oil off? How are we going to keep it from returning so we don't have to keep paying you to power wash this? And you can do two things. One, you can fix your car. Two, you can seal your driveway. So after the power washing company has cleaned that driveway and the oil is gone, it looks nice, you want to keep it off. The way to do it is to seal it. You can either put a wet look sealant or a flat look sealant and ask the pressure washing company if they can provide this service. It's a very important prevention service that will keep it off for as much as five years. And it could cost between 500 to 1,000, depending on the type of space and how, many, how much square footage that you actually have on it. So a window cleaning company comes over, washes your window, they look sparkling clean, but then you need your screens cleaned. Well, you can either have them clean the screens for you or you can do it yourself. And let me give you some tips on how to clean your screens. First off, let me tell you what not to do. Don't power wash your screens. If you power wash your screens, you're going to have problems. You're going to have marks that go back and forth on the screens, and that's from the power washer. Worse, it could ruin your screen completely and rip holes into it. You do not want to power wash your screens. If you wash them with soap and water, they would look all right. But a lot of times, you do have muddy spots and you do have muddy streaks on it. It doesn't get them the way you want them to turn out because they're so dirty. The best way to clean a screen, you need a soft bristle brush that is that is firm. You can get it at your local hardware store. If you, if you brush them and you start from the corners, you'll be able to get the screen looking really nice. You, wash, you, you, you brush both sides of the screen and if you want to further protect your screens after cleaning them, I recommend highly 303 Protectant. You can find that online. You could use Armor All, but it doesn't work as well. And it's so important that you do keep up your screens. And again, if this is too much of a hassle to do that yourself, I highly recommend you hire a window cleaning company uh, to do that for you so you don't have to worry about it. Here's the first sign you'll know that you're working with a bad window cleaning company. You're on the phone with them and you're asking them for a price and you're asking them to set up an appointment and they're arguing with you or they're pressuring you. You don't want to work with a company like that. If you're on the phone with them, you're trying to schedule, you're trying to get some prices from them, and they're arguing with you, or they're pressuring you. You don't want to work with a company like that. You want to hang up the phone immediately. When you hire a window cleaning company, it's very important that they treat you with utmost courtesy, respect, kindness. You want to work with a window cleaning company who is always there for you. And they show you that you are number one, because you are number one. You're the customer, and you're their bread and butter. It's so important that a company treats you well, that they're there for you, they're there when you call them, that they're giving you the service, the quality. So that company should be willing to do anything for you. They should be willing to pet your dog. They should be willing to give you a massage while they're washing your windows. You should be that important to them. So if you like what you've seen and you'd like to learn more, then please go to my website, jjwindowash.com. See you soon.